Hello again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans. For today's Pokemon opening, we have something I just found at Target last night, and that is an Ultimate Pin Collection. These are $9.99 at Target. These are repacked items by the Fairfield Company. Uh, they also do like six pack promo blisters, the uh, deck box that has one pack and a promo, and various other like third party repacks, the uh, EX Cube as well, etc, etc. It says this package is guaranteed to contain one Pokemon 60 card deck, one Pokemon collector's pin, three Pokemon hollow foil cards, online rewards card, and one Pokemon pop pack. The products in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer or purchased from the secondary market and repackaged for retail sales by the Fairfield Company. I don't know if those are all the pins that are possible or if that's just a sampling of what you might find inside, but I picked up this in particular because it has the Battle Arena deck, which are very hard to find and have lots of playable cards in it. And I actually got the Mewtwo one as well. So if you want to see this one opened up possibly tomorrow, make sure you rock smash that like button and let me know in the comments down below. But today we are going to open up this lovely Battle Arena deck of Darkrai with whatever other secret mystery surprises might be waiting for us inside as well. I figure for $10, and the Battle Arena decks retail for $30. And you're getting half of that in here, so $10 for that seems very good. Usually you get a basic uh, star deck. Let me spin some behind here for a second. Usually you get a basic star deck from like Primal Clash, something like that. And wow, this glue is very, very strong. Let me cut the camera here. Okay, we finally tore through here. That glue was super duper thick. And let's see what we find inside, if I can pull it out now even. My goodness. Okay, um. Let's just tear things away here and try to get in there. I, it's like there's more glue to it than I realize or what here? My goodness. Come on. Let us into our cards. I just want my cards. All right. All right. Pin fell out. We're good. We're good. All right. So the pin we got is of Mega Rayquaza, the non-shiny version. There's, of course, a shiny Mega Rayquaza pin available as well. Let's see. How is this all packaged? Let's see. So there's the Ballerina deck. Well, it's not a pop pack like the box says. We have a Boundaries Cross sampling pack. I think these always include just common cards. I'd rather have a pop pack, regardless of what one it is, because then you just have a chance of getting a rare and stuff. But, oh well. And then we've got... Well, it said three foil cards, didn't it? Let me see. Where'd the box go? Um... This package is guaranteed to contain... Da -da -da -da, three Pokemon Hollow Foil cards. I know the deck is going to have hollow foil cards included, but I figured that the three hollow foil cards wouldn't be including what the deck comes with, but... Anyways, we have a basic dark energy and a non hollow rare Xerneas. At least it's a playable card. We've got... Oh, there's still some more. There's still some more. Let's see. The code card I got is for an XY Breakthrough Booster Pack, which I'm actually giving that to you guys because being a third party repack, who knows if it actually works. So there you go. A code for you guys. And we'll go like that so I know that it's used. And then, so when we do have the three foils, and we got a Greninja foil from I think a trainer kit, a Galvantula Hollow Rare from Phantom Forces, I believe from a starter deck. Let me sleeve those up quick. So I'm not sure what those two extra cards were then. And I'm gonna assume that this here is a foil card as well. Not a fan of how it's packaged. As you can see, it's got a little ding up there from how it's packaged. But this card is a white Kiram Hollow Rare from Boundaries Crossed. It's got the Shattered Glass Foil, so that's also from a Star Deck. So you get a lot of deck cards, basically. All right, now I'm curious. We'll save the sailing pack for last, I guess. I'm curious to see if the Battle Arena deck will include the full 60 cards, including two Darkrai EXs. So let's crack in here and find out. So. The Hollow Dark Energy is there, that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's correct. Oh, nine. I thought it was only eight. We got a Dark Cry EX. Alright, just one Dark Cry EX in there. There should be two. So I'm guessing the one that appears like visible in the package is not there. But maybe it's in a different one of these boxes as one of the three bonus hollows, since those are from Shardex. Who knows? But we still get the one Dark Cry EX go with the Hollow Energies. Holler. Hollow energies. We got two rainbow energies, some basic dark, Zerosic, Ultra Ball, Tierno, Skyla 
from Boundaries Crossed, Sky Row Bridge, Roller Skates, Random Receiver, Professor's Letter, we got Professor Sycamore times two, Pokemon Catcher times two, plus Power times two, we get N times one, Muscle Band times two. That's the Dark Explorers one, by the way. So, I, I really love these Battle Redux because we get a lot of playable cards. If you're a new player, if you can still find the Dark Cry Mewtwo Battle Arena deck, I suggest you pick it up because you're going to get a lot of good trainers, especially if you're going to play Expanded and not just Standard, as some of the trainers are only Expanded legal right now and got reprinted now at least, though, so that helps. But two Muscle Bands, Lysander, Level Ball, Evo Soda, Energy Switch, Dark Patch, times two, Bianca, times two. Then for Pokemon, we got Inke, Malamar, times two, Pancham, Pangoro, Zorua, times three, Zoroark from Black and White Base Set with Nasty Plot and Foul Play, times one. Then you got Legendary Treasures with Brutal Bash and Dark Rush, times two. Then you got two Sableyes with the Junk Hunt attack from Dark Explorers, which has seen a lot of competitive play, at least back in the day. But still, uh, no complaints here. We still got the boundaries cr crossed. Sound pack as well. Fine. Just this right here is pretty much worth the 10 bucks. So definitely okay with that. I probably wouldn't recommend these uh, $10 boxes if you're not getting a Battle Arena deck. But if you find one with a Battle Arena deck, definitely snatch that sucker up. So let's see what the sampling pack has here for us. I think it's going to be just three commons. But let's find out here. You get a card list as well. So there's the, just confirmed, there's the white Kiram Star deck, which we got that card in this. And boundaries, cro oh, so the Pokemon Trading Card Game is now available to play online in the Pokemon TCG Trainer Center. Ch trainer Challenge, I can't read. Uh, with your parents' permission, visit pokemon.com slash TC and play the Pokemon TCG online. Plus use this code to unlock a special 60 card deck in the Pokemon TCG Trainer Challenge. This code can be used only once per account. So, I don't know if it still actually works, but if you type in boundaries hyphen crossed, I don't know if caps is required, but try it in all caps, and uh, you may get a six card deck, which I guess you can only use in Trainer Challenge, but hey, free is good. And want more Pokemon fun, visit pokemon.com. And then you got the full set checklist, which I could go over in detail, because it's an old set, and you can find that online if you need to. But the full art, Skyla, and Sharon and Bianca are all in that set. Florent, White Kiram, Black Kiram EX, Landris, Cresselia, Keldeo, Selby, and you got Gold Potion, Crystal Wall, Crystal Edge, and Computer Search Ace Specs. So that is that. And then the three cards we got are Oddish, Oddish, Skitty the Kitty, and Cotney. So as I thought, three comments. So that's what we all got in our $9.99 Ultimate Pin Collection. Promo box thingy distributed by the Fairfield Company. So if you enjoyed that and you want to see what mysteries are hiding inside of our Ballerina deck of Mewtwo with all the extra surprises, let me know in the comments and rock smash that like button to let me know that you guys want to see more of this. And that might end up being tomorrow's video. Uh, Wednesday we should have the Blastoise EX Red and Blue collection. And then probably Thursday and Friday I'll open up the... Uh, Evil Tall and Zygarde tins that I haven't opened yet as I opened the Xerneas one as part of the collaboration we did earlier. So uh, that basically fills up the slate for this week so you guys know what's upcoming. Assuming you guys want to see that Mewtwo one for tomorrow. Otherwise, I have no idea I'm going to open tomorrow if not that. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, rock, smash that like button, visit our website, thepokecapital.com and I'll see you later for some more Pokemon goodness. Peace!